Magandang umaga. Welcome muli sa ating morning devotion. Ako ay naniniwala na Christians and non-Christians alike usually can agree that Jesus is the best role model to have. From Jesus Christ's faith, perseverance, generosity, and even His intelligence. People see the best qualities that mankind can possess through the Lord Jesus Christ. And because of that, the Bible teaches everyone to become more like the Lord Jesus Christ. Each and every day, and today, we will study and learn about some character traits that the Lord Jesus Christ had. We will study 10 character traits of Jesus that everyone should emulate. At ang una sa listahan ay ang compassion of Jesus Christ. At ang passage na pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw ay makikita sa Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 to 36. In the New King James Version, it says, Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion for them, because they were weary and scattered like sheep having no shepherd. Type in manalangin mo. Oh dear God, Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for this wonderful day that you have given to us. I pray Lord na pagpalaan mo po ang bawat isa sa lahat ng mga makapakinig po na yung salita. Thank you again Lord sa opportunity na ito. And I pray na ang lahat ang pag-uusapan, pag-aaralan ay maging totoo sa buhay ng bawat isa po sa amin. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The Compassion of the Lord Jesus Christ. The word compassion, or in verse 36, he was moved with compassion. Means that he literally became sick inside. Jesus was heart sick, or he had pity on them. He was burdened and broken hearted over his lost city and nation. If you will look at this, Jesus never looked away from people. This is true. He always looked upon them and had compassion. Ayan po yung sinasabi ng Matthew chapter 9 verse 36. Whenever people were around him, Jesus understood that their real needs were and sought to address them. For some, physical needs ang kailangan nila. And for some, physical healing ang kailangan nila if it is necessary. And for others, not only physical, but the root issue is spiritual. In all cases though, Jesus took time to actually notice that people were hurting physically and spiritually. And his compassion drove him to help them. The emotional life of Christ in the book of Matthew, in the book of Mark, in the book of Luke, time and again, they lay emphasis upon the compassion of the Lord and highlight it as the one outstanding motive for His actions. While the book of John takes us deeper that this too, the love of Christ, that is the ground of His compassion. If we look at this, the synoptic writers draw attention to the outpouring of that love in a tender-hearted compassion. Because in Matthew, in, in Mark chapter 6, verse 34, Jesus' compassion was manifested in the multitudes. And it says, And Jesus, when he came out, saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion again for them. Because they were like sheep not having a shepherd. So he began to teach them many things. In John chapter 6 verse 5, Jesus' compassion caused him to be concerned to the people's physical need. John chapter 6 verse 5 it says, Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, 
Where shall we buy bread that these people may eat? You see, it is not only that Jesus Christ had compassion to the multitude, but also he catered to the needs of the people, physical. Okay, kung sila nagutom, the Lord Jesus Christ will feed them. And, and also, Jesus' compassion caused him to heal the blind in Matthew chapter 20, verse 34. So Jesus had compassion and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Not only that, Jesus Christ had compassion on those possessed with demons in Matthew chapter 9, verse 22 and 25. It says, And often he, he has thrown him both into the fire and into the water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Verse 25, When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. You see, even with a demon-possessed person, Jesus Christ had compassion on them. Again, Jesus was compassionate to the poor lepers in Mark chapter 1, verse 40 to 41. It says, Now a leper came to him, imploring him, kneeling down to him, and saying to him, If you are willing, you can make me clean. You see, verse 41, then Jesus moved with compassion, again, moved with compassion, stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I am willing, be cleansed. You see, in the book of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, may kita po natin na sinasabi po dyan, it really emphasized his action, being a compassionate Lord. We as believers, we often say we have compassion to people but Jesus Christ exemplified and demonstrated his compassions with his actions it is also has profound implication for us believers and followers of the Lord Jesus Christ for us Christians in the way we should live we could say it is impossible to claim real Christianity on the basis of a mere profession but rather the compassion of Christ ought to shape our attitude as believers and followers of the Lord and also our actions as far as men women and children in the grip of sin are concerned that means it is in the character of the Lord Jesus Christ that we should follow that we should demonstrate as an example and our passion for Christ will generate a compassion also for men. As believers, it will reproduce in us the real believer, the real disciple. And as a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, we say that we love the sinners we should not be as hypocrite. We should not be as professing Christians only, but doing and following the example of the Lord Jesus Christ. Compassion. We could do that as believers and followers. And I will close with this. Jesus was a compassionate Lord. And we can be also. For the Bible's shortest verse says, Jesus wept in John 11, 35. It's just to show us that Jesus Christ had really had been a compassionate Lord. Let us pray. And dear God, thank you again for your word. May you bless us in our hearts. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May God bless you all and stay safe.